Hello everyone. In this video, we will be combining like terms and this is the second part. In this part, we're going to involve expressions with more than one variables involved. So in this case right here, we both have x and y and in this problem right here, we have a and b as variables. Now before we jump into these examples right here, we remember the definition for like terms. Like terms are terms that have the same variables and powers. So in this case right here, these are like terms. So for x and the, the x right here, the y and the y are like terms. Like terms basically mean that those are expressions that have the same letters on them. On the other hand, if we say unlike terms, these are the terms that do not have the same variables and power. So let's take this first example right here. So we're going to combine all together the ones with x's. So in this case right here, I got 4x. So I'm going to circle the 4x. We also have um, negative x right here. So I can go ahead and write um, 4x and then we have a negative x. So if we do the math on this, 4x minus x. Actually, there's an invisible one right here. So that's pretty much 4x minus 1x is actually 3x. Now let's have the ones with y on them. So again, I'm not going to combine this 4x and 3y because this is uh, having a variable x and this one is a variable y. So then I will combine all the ones with y on them. So these would be negative 3y and then I also have um, positive 4y. So I combine these two together. So I go ahead and write negative 3y plus 4y. So when we add these two together, that is actually 1y. So remember, if it's 1, it becomes invisible. So I can go ahead and say this is just equal to y. Now let's have the ones with no variables on them. So this include the um, 5. So I'm going to use a different color for 5 and a different shape. And then um, plus 2 right here. So then I can go ahead and write 5 plus 2 is 7. So then when we write the final answer for this, we are supposed to um, put these all together in an expression. So that would be 3x that comes from the um, sum of these two um, expression right here. And then we have a y, so that's a plus y, and then we have a 7. So I go ahead and put this inside the box. This is the simplified version of this expression up there. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. So it's pretty much the same thing. We are supposed to combine um, like terms. So all the ones with A will be combined together. So this would be 3A. Then we also have a plus 7A. So I'm just going to go ahead and write that down here. So if we add 3a plus 7a is 10a. Now we combine together all the ones with b. So that would be um, positive 5b. And then we also have a minus b. So I go ahead and write that down here. So if I subtract 5b minus b, remember there's an invisible one right here. So 5b minus 1b is actually 4b. And so I will combine the ones with no variables on them or the constant. So that would be um, negative 4 and then negative 1 shall be combined together. So that would be a negative 4 minus 1 is actually negative 5. So then I go ahead and write the um, simplified version for this. So that would be 10a. I got that from here. And then that's a plus 4b. And then that's where I got the uh, 4b right there. And then that's a minus 5. So this is the simplified version of this expression that we have up here. Did you get the same answer as this? Yay! Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next example right here. So we are given this expression right here. And we're supposed to um, simplify this by combining like terms. So again, we remember that we combine like terms by combining together the ones with the same variables and power. So in this case right here, I can go ahead and combine 4x squared and negative 5x squared. So I'll put this inside a um, circle right here. Now others are going to say, can I combine the 3x as well? Because they both have x's and this one is xy. 
So please remember that we say that like terms are terms that have the same variable and power. So they have the same variable x, but then the powers are different. This one is a power of two and this one has no power on it or invisible one. So pretty much we cannot include the three x as part of these two since this is x squared and that's x squared and this doesn't have any squared on it. So these are the only two expressions that we combine together. So then we can go ahead and write this um, down here so that would be 4x squared and then that's a minus 5x squared now let's move on to the next so if we are going to um, subtract this this would come out 4x squared minus 5x squared is negative 1x squared or pretty much this is negative x squared so the negative one becomes invisible now let's combine the ones with x y so that's the second um, um, next term right here so then i can go ahead and put this inside the box that's um plus 7xy. So I look for those with xy on them. This is the one with xy. So I go ahead and put this inside the box and look for other um, expressions with xy on them. So only these two. So I go ahead and write it down here. So that is 7xy minus xy. So remember, there is an invisible one right here. So we can go ahead and say 7xy minus 1xy is 6xy. So I write 6xy right here. And then I will combine the ones with x on them. So that's 3x right here. So I will combine this. I will look for other um, expressions in this um other terms that have the same um, x or that, that is similar to this. So this one right here is similar to that. So I can go ahead and put this inside a um, triangle. So I go ahead and write them down here. So that would be 1x or the uh, one becomes invisible. So I can just go ahead and write x on it. And then we have a leftover, which is one. So I can just go ahead and add that one right here. So that's one. So then we go ahead and um, write them all out. So that would be negative x squared plus 6xy plus x plus one. So then this would come out negative x squared. I got that from there. And then we have a plus 6 xy i got that from there and then we have a plus x and then plus one right here so this is the simplified version of this expression that we have up here at this time i would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own and when you're done and pause it and check your answer Okay, so we go over the problem here. So we're going to combine like terms. So the one that uh, uh, comes out here is 3y cubed. So then I look for the ones with y cubed here. So I can circle this and I will look for other um, terms that have y cubed on it. And this is the other one that has y cubed. So I go ahead and combine these two. So this would come out 3y cubed plus y cubed is 4y cubed. And then I'm going to um, look for the second term right here. We have 7y squared. So I look for another, uh, the one with squared. So I'll put this in a box. And then this is the one that has a y squared on it. So I combine these two together. So I'm just going to write it down here. Okay, so I added these two together, 7y squared plus 2y squared is 9y squared. And then I will look for the ones with x. So the first one right here is um, 2x. And then we also have a negative 7x. So then I go ahead and uh, write it down here. Okay, so 2x minus 7x is actually negative 5x. And I will look for the ones with negative 2x squared. So nothing is left. These are the only ones uh, left over. So pretty much like we can't combine this with other terms since these two are not actually like terms. So I can go ahead and write the final um, uh, simplified version for this would be 4y cubed. And then we have a plus 9y squared 
minus 5x, then whatever the leftover is, the ones that we haven't combined are the ones that we write after that. So that would be negative 2x squared minus 5xy. So this is the simplified version of this given expression that we have up here. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!